News 46 is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. News is also brought to you by Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, a juvenile is transported after being stabbed. The school supply drive is on now at Desert View Hospital. And KPVM says goodbye to the star of a popular commercial. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Friday, July 10th, 2015. I'm Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Medics and police were dispatched to an apartment complex this afternoon for a report of a stabbing. Knight County Sheriff's deputies were dispatched to the Courtyard Apartments on Dandelion Street this afternoon for a juvenile that received a stab wound. Reportedly, another juvenile caused the wound to this victim who was transported locally to Desert View Hospital with minor injuries. Juvenile parole and probation officers were dispatched to the scene to take custody of the one juvenile. According to Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue Chief Scott Lewis, the juvenile received a wound to one of his extremities, which were not life-threatening. Nye County Sheriff's deputies are investigating. We have an update regarding an accident that occurred near the Prump Nugget during their fireworks show last Friday night. The man was reportedly in cardiac arrest and under the influence. We found out that that is actually incorrect. According to the Nye County Sheriff's, the rider of the moped was not taken into custody for driving under the influence on the July 3rd accident, which occurred on Crawford Way. The accident was between a vehicle and a moped. The moped rider was transported here to Desert View Hospital locally with injuries sustained as a result. And as we head into our first break, let's join Jeff Simmons at the Prompt Nugget. Hello everybody, I'm Jess Simmons here at the Prompt Nugget. Start off with our stage bar this weekend. We have a new band that says, I Got a Friend. So come on down, check them out. Okay. Our casino drawings this month, we have drawings every 30 minutes from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Each person can win up to $2,500 in cash. And then we got the uh, little bingo. We have this coming Monday, July 13th, we're going to have double punches at all of our sessions at the Nugget. And we have our balls on the walls for the rest of this month, Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at the 1 and 7 p.m. Double pay on all those numbers painted on our wall. And then Kathy over at GoTown, she has her paper only, no split pots, every day at 11 a.m. And Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the 11 and 1, paper only, no split pots, over at Kathy's, over at GoTown. Everybody have a great weekend. Look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye. This portion of the news is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. The Confederate flag was lowered from the grounds of the South Carolina State House to the cheers of thousands this morning, ending its 54-year presence there and marking a stunning political reversal in a state where many thought the rebel banner would fly indefinitely. The turnabout seemed unthinkable before the June 17th massacre of nine black parishioners, including a state senator, at a Charleston church during a Bible study. Dylan Roth, a white man who was photographed with the Confederate flag, is charged in the shooting deaths. The killings were a targeted hate crime against blacks. The massacre reignited calls to remove the Confederate flags and symbols across the South and around the nation. The international gold buyers are at the Prompt Nugget this weekend. They have banded with the Roadshow and have expanded their purchasing power. We have now merged with the Collectibles Roadshow to give us another avenue. Uh, we were just buying uh, gold, silver, diamonds, coins, stuff like that. But now since we were at the Collectibles Roadshow, 
uh, we've enhanced that, and now we're doing uh, antiques as well. Uh, no furniture, so uh, I don't want anyone, you know, thinking that we do furniture. We don't do anything large, any large items of furniture we don't do. Um, and what the Collectibles Roadshow would be doing is they would be doing appraisals um, for people. But now we have got the Collectibles Roadshow and we're doing uh, buying of these items. So we're going to be buying um, uh, military memorabilia, um, any type of comic books, um, baseball cards, uh, pre-1970 baseball cards, uh, nothing over the 70s we don't do. And we'll be doing like uh, old bears, collectible bears, stife bears, um, uh, things like um, Shirley Temple dolls and bisque dolls and composite uh, composition dolls uh, made from Germany. And uh, just anything um, that uh, has value pretty much. Also, people can bring their items down to just get them appraised? No, we don't do appraisals. Yep, we're not doing appraisals. Uh, that's what the Collectibles Roadshow usually does, but yeah. this is a buying event. Mm -hmm. So we're here to actually purchase items. So if somebody has something that they've been wanting to sell and they want to get the, the full value for it, um, this is their opportunity to come in and bring those items. You know, uh, a lot of folks uh, have these types of items mm -hmm. and, um, you know, military stuff, badges, um, old bayonets, um, um, military uh, uniforms, uh, that type of stuff. Just not large items. We don't do anything with large items such as um, furniture and stuff like that because we have no way to transport it. Exactly. So. Do people need to make an appointment to sell their items? Uh, no, they don't. Uh, they can just come in. and But we do have an RSVP line that they may call. So if they want to avoid the long line, the front of the line type mm -hmm. thing, well, we do have that. And it's uh, you, what you do is you would call us at our toll-free number, which is 1-844-ROAD-USA. How's the so price? They, so when they come in, um, when they RSVP with us, then when they come in, uh, they can just jump to the head of the line because they RSVP'd. The school supply drive is happening now in time for the back-to-school fair at Desert View Hospital next Saturday. Yes, so every year at our back to school health fair, we give out school supplies to students who come by and there's no requirements. So any student that comes, they do have to be present so a parent can't come and pick the supplies up for them. Um, but anybody that comes while supplies last, we give those supplies out. So in order to be able to do that, we have to collect supplies first. So this year we decided, um, and we've done it in years past as well, to have a school supply drive. It ends on Monday the 13th, so it's coming up, um, ending in just a few days. We're collecting as many supplies as we can get. They do need to be brand new supplies, unopened things, not, you know, we ask that you don't clean out your pencil drawer, those sorts of things, and, you know, they do need to be new supplies for these students. So then what or we should do they is drop them off? They can just drop them off right here at the hospital. Then once they do, what we do is we pre-bag them according to grade level and then hand them out at the health fair. What types of items are you looking for? You know, anything and everything that you can think of a student might need. So folders, you know, pocket folders, three ring binders, uh, spiral notebooks, loose leaf paper with the notebooks and the paper, both college ruled and wide ruled, mm -hmm. pencils, pens, dry erase markers, boxes of Kleenex, pencil boxes, list goes on and on. And uh, right here in the lobby of Desert View Hospital on Lola Lane, they can drop them off pretty much anytime? Yep, anytime um, during business hours. So between about 7.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Or on the weekends, they can drop them by until about, um, from about 8 a.m. to noon. They just bring them to the main desk and let them know that they're dropping off school supplies. They'll put them, you know, in the appropriate spot. Are you taking monetary donations too? We are. So if anybody would like to um, donate that in that way they can give me um, they can bring a check by or they can you know they would they would cash would be better because checks can get a little complicated um, but yeah and then what I'll do is I'll go to the store and buy the supplies that we need and we've actually had Mercy Air um, which a lot of people are familiar with them they've actually stepped up and they have donated three hundred dollars worth of supplies and then we have a local vendor um, who works with our business office here. They've donated $350 of supplies. And then the Desert View Hospital Foundation, our nonprofit, um, is matching that donation for $350 worth of supplies. So uh, because the health fair is coming up so quickly, you need to get on.
on the ball and go shopping right now, right? Yes, yeah, Walmart's got their supplies out and I'm sure the other stores do as well. So as many supplies as we can get, we'll take every uh, donation is appreciated. So even if all you can do is buy a box of pencils or a pack of markers, we will take it. News 46 will return in just a moment.